guys, it's Laura and Salem, and we're just um, here to tell you about some changes to some new um, headgear and walking gear for the dogs. We're going to be using Martingale collars now, which is really nice. This functions very similar to the slip lead in that it um, tightens when it needs to so the dog cannot escape, but there is not the same risk of choking the dog that can happen with a slip lead. So um, these are really designed out of convenience and they're not the best thing to use. Um, not to mention when the dog gets adopted, um, the general public does not use these. These are mostly used for show um, and other situations that are unique. So we wanna get the dog set up for success by using something that functions like this, but is more practical for everyday use. Thanks for your flexibility. Hey everybody, it's Laura with Royce Hurst Humane Society, and this is Salem, my, my buddy Salem, and we're here to just demonstrate some new tools that we have to use um, for our dogs for walking. Um, the first thing that's new is called a martingale collar. Um, this functions similar to the slip leads that we were using. Um, the slip lead is kind of a combination collar and leash, whereas this is just functions as a collar, but it has the same, um, let's see, the same opportunity to um, not allow the dog to get out of their collar if it's too big. So this will cinch as they pull. So you want the dog it to fit just like a regular collar where you can stick two fingers under here um, but when it's connected to a leash, it's obviously gonna pull. So this will be a standard for every dog here. They will get a red Martingale collar, and then when they get adopted, we will trade it out for a flat um, buckle collar. Um, the other thing that is new and unique are these awesome harnesses by Two Hounds Design for pulling. So I'm gonna demonstrate how to put one of these on. You basically, if it's unhooked, you'll find the velvet strap, and this is to help prevent um, chafing and rubbing on the dog. So this is gonna go underneath their arms. So you would, <laughs> you would place the dog, or sorry, place the hole over the dog's head. Oh, can you sit? Good boy, good. Then these straps go underneath the arms. Again, this is kind of that velvet piece. And that's the harness. So it has two clips. So the leash for these is designed to operate with both. And it really does work nicely. Um, this, think of this as more of the stop. So when you're walking, this will be the tension to have the dog stop. And the front clip is more to help steer and get going again. Um, so these will only be used for dogs that are strong pullers. Not every dog is going to need a harness. If you do decide that the dog is pulling a lot just using the martingale collar, you can create your own harness by simply using the clip leash. You put it in the clip. You would take this and go behind the dog's head, underneath their arms, and go through the noose of this martingale. And now you have a quick harness. Right, Sam? So I think that is all to show you. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact anyone here at Royce Hurst. You can even Google these. There's some great videos online to watch. And thanks for your help.